I recently spoke to religious freedom advocate Virginia Prodon, who just has a remarkable story. She's the author of Saving My Assassin, and she narrowly escaped death after Romania's dictator Nicolae Ceausescu sent an assassin to kill her when she took his regime to court for persecuting Christians. With a gun pointed at her head, five-foot-tall Virginia led her would-be assassin to Christ and is now sharing her story and warning Americans about the dangers of socialism. Virginia, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. So I just want to start by asking you, why did the Romanian government want you killed? Because I defended Christian and human rights cases. And uh, a government, um, socialist government, it's a government who will um, establish a system where the government is your God, not Christ, and will um, have everything uh, appointed to Christians to persecute the Christians. And what I did is I defended Christians who had a Bible in their home or share the Bible with others and they are put in jail for that. So from your experience living under a socialist and communist regime, what do you think now in America when you hear politicians talk about Democrat socialism? I believe, uh, many times I wonder, am I dreaming? Am I back in Romania? It's impossible. It's not America. But it's so often that I don't want to ask that question anymore. It's the same type of lie, of lies, that I heard my parents were um, uh, told in order to give them the vote for the socialists to be in power. Um, I uh, believe that American people have um, experience of socialists in Russia, in Romania, in Venezuela, in Cuba, in China, in many. So historically, they have more exposure than my own parents have. So they have to learn that that is a lie that will destroy your freedom and will destroy um, a country. Now, we're seeing a rise in younger people, particularly the millennial generation, viewing socialism favorably. What is your message to them? They want to believe that socialists will resolve their problems. They're angry because they were told that American dreams is available to everyone. And I believe that American dreams is available to everyone who works hard, who does everything on their part. Um, they got into the lies of um, the government can uh, subsidize you, which is not true. It's not like the parents who support you in college. It's when the government gives you something, they will take they will take from you your freedom. I will advise them to read about how the government in Romania establish the way you live, the way I was allowed to go to law school or to work. It's not like in America. I believe that they, uh, they want to make a change, but I want to advise them, make sure you are not the only generation in the history of United States that will make a very painful, worse change for America.